YouTube this is Texo back from Texo channel and today I got a new video for you guys so today I have a LTE versus low band 5G comparison between Verizon Wireless and Cricut Wireless so for Verizon I have the unlocked S21 Ultra and for Cricut I have the unlocked S20 Ultra so what I'll be doing is two speed tests on low band 5G and I'll be doing two speed tests on LTE uh, and I'll be comparing the speeds as well as the ping time so the overall latency and determine which one is better so without further ado let's get started all right so Verizon loaded first I'll run it on Verizon and then we'll do cricket shortly so the ping time on the S21 Ultra on Verizon 14 millisecond versus a 10 millisecond jitter, um, or how to say with a 10 millisecond jitter. The download 95.4 and the upload is going to be just under seven megabits it looks like. Eight point sixty two. So now we're going to run it on the S20 Ultra with Cricket. 31 millisecond ping. 37 millisecond jitter. And the download 111 with about a 30 megabit upload, 28.5. So in the first test here, Verizon uh, was slower on both the download and upload, however, the ping time and jitter was better with Verizon. So let's run this one more time. As a matter of fact, what I'll also do is I'll do one more test on um, both phones, but I'll run it at the same time to see what I get. So on the second test, Verizon fared out better with a 109 download uh, ping was 17 millisecond jitter 4 milliseconds and it looks like we're going to get about 17.5 upload let's run it again with the S20 Ultra here 25 uh, 26 millisecond ping with a 3 millisecond jitter and the download speed is much faster this time much faster 157 download and a 30 megabit upload yep 31 megabit upload so now what I will do is I'm going to run both at the same time So 87.8 with 11.9 .9 on the upload on Verizon, 18 millisecond ping, 6 millisecond jitter, uh, 156 down and 30.2 on the upload on Cricut. So overall, I would say the low band 5G, uh, Cricut performed better here. Um, the ping time was better with Verizon, but the overall speed was better with Cricut. So now what I'm going to do is I'll be doing an LTE uh, comparison now. One moment. Okay, that's on LTE. This is on LTE. Okay. 
so let me go ahead and get this started here let's do Verizon first so Verizon got 22 millisecond ping 6 millisecond jitter 106 down or 107 down And the 15.5 upload, let's do cricket. Interestingly enough here, much slower speeds, 22.5. Usually I would actually get much higher than that. I don't know, that's probably a little uh, glitch for the moment. Um, let me actually run that one more time here because that's weird. Let me just see if something just went wrong for a brief moment there. Okay, yeah, something's interesting here because I usually get much higher speeds on uh, than that. That's weird. Um, but yeah, that's that's really weird. But on the second test, 19.4 download, uh, 28 millisecond ping one millisecond jitter uh, and then we're going to run the Verizon one now again um, let me do a network reset on the cricket to see what's up with that because that's weird on the second test with Verizon we're getting 86 uh, 87.5 20 millisecond ping six millisecond jitter and I'm going to run it on the cricket one more time. Hopefully it fares out much better this time. And on the upload for Verizon, 15.4. So let's run it again on the cricket line. Let's see what's up. Hopefully much better this time. And there we there we go. There we go. There we go. My goodness. Look at that. Almost 200. Wow. That's what I thought because I'm like, what's going on? Why was it doing 20 megabits right there? It's really weird. But yeah, uh, 173 on the download, about 27 on the upload there, 27 millisecond ping, 2 millisecond jitter, much better speeds than Verizon. One thing I forgot to mention with Verizon, this is the prepaid unlimited plan, the new $75 plan. Um, and with Cricket, it's the Cricket More plan, $60 plan. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run both at the same time and see what we get here and this will be the final test here so quick you got 170 down versus 86.5 of Verizon ping time are the same 25 millisecond ping and the jitters are on the same too, two and three milliseconds. So both phones on the ping time was really good, but Verizon had much slower download speeds as well as much slower upload speeds. So overall, for the LTE and low band in this particular area where I'm at in my uh, home, Cricket is a better performer on AT&T's network. But if you like this video uh, with this LTE versus low band 5G comparison with Verizon Wireless and Cricket Wireless, please leave a like and comment to the channel. A uh, comment uh, below and subscribe to the channel. This has been Texel from Texel Channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.